Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're gonna go out and see if we can find ourselves some of the Sika Deer. These are a much anticipated species, and by far what I was most excited for, so it's only fitting that we go for them first since me and a lot of you guys wanted to see them. They are gonna be the first thing we'll try to track down and try to find some zones for. Now, I want to get over to this side of the map to unlock an outpost, and so I figured let's go ahead and follow the river and see if we can come across anything along the way, maybe find some new drink zones and stuff like that. I did finally discover one drink zone, and that is for the feral goats at 9.30 to 12.30, so that is good to know. And as far as I can tell, it seems like the drink times and everything are about what they are on most maps. They didn't do the Silver Ridge Peak thing, as far as I can tell at least, but only time will tell. We'll have to see what the other species have in store, but anyway, let's go ahead and head down here and see what we can find along the way. So I think that once we get down to here, the next thing that we'll do is we'll cross over and try to hit up all these lakes until we find ourselves some Sika Deer. Because as of now, I don't really know what portion of the map they're gonna be on, but I would imagine if they're not over here along this river, they'll probably be either up in this corner or in this corner. So we're gonna have to try and figure all that out, but hopefully it won't take too long. Man, I just real quickly gotta say, this map is just, it's just got me shocked at how beautiful it is. Every time I think I've seen the most beautiful part of the map, I go to another area, and it looks even more beautiful. Just look at this lush, lush vegetation. It's honestly so nice looking. So, so happy that we got New Zealand as the next reserve. And I'm really thinking that this shoreline right here might have a drink zone at some point, so I'm gonna kinda walk around and be careful of not missing anything because you never know with a brand new map they could be anywhere okay so this is not a seek it here but we do have some rabbit burrows i did not expect to be seeing them here so right over here we have some burrows that's good to know we at least have one location of rabbit burrows and it's on this little hill very close to a lodge actually so that's pretty cool we got our first european rabbit location discovered so as of now we are about a little over halfway towards our destination and I haven't been able to find any drink zones and uh well this is why in order to get around here I have to go clear up on top of this mountain otherwise I'd just be in the water immediately and so yeah I haven't been able to find any drink zones unfortunately but it doesn't look like there's many places they could have been drinking anyway so I guess it's not too big of a loss and plus we get an amazing view of this map just look at that that is so so nice that is worth a few pictures. Beautiful. I am just still in awe of how amazing this map looks. Like I said earlier, everywhere I look I just find something even more beautiful than the last. And now I'm really worried about getting down off this mountain. This could end pretty poorly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Going down this is so sketchy. And I just feel like at any moment this could end poorly and then I'll have to start all over again with this journey. <sighs> yep, it's kind of what I figured would happen. <sighs> well then. That uh... Yeah, that went great. <laughs> that went great. Alright guys, we have finally made it to our destination, and I gotta say, once again, this might be the coolest part of the map yet. This is just absolutely stunning looking. I love these thick forests like this. It's so, so cool to see. This is honestly what I think when I think of New Zealand, is this and then the wide open plains. Hopefully there's gonna be quite a few plains on the map too. I've seen a few areas that are kinda like that, but nothing super, super open. But, we've barely even explored any of the map yet, so we got plenty more to look forward to. Okay guys, so we just got the first warning call from a Sika Deer. I am really excited to finally get a chance to check these guys out and show them to you. Now we can just hope that these guys are going to be at least somewhat decent sized. And also I didn't look at what weapon class they were when I got that warning call. So I'm gonna have to spot it real quick so I can actually figure out what class they are, so I can know what gun to use. I'm assuming it's gotta be class 4 since 
We do have the 303 British with this map, and that is actually a red deer. So we got red deer over here also, and we are currently at this little lake right here. It's really good to know that we got some red deer here along with Sika deer. Uh, let's see if maybe we can get them to come to the call since the Sika deer do come to this. There's a red deer stag. Looks like we actually spooked them off. That's a little unfortunate. I'm guessing we probably spooked the Sika deer then too. So there's a track from the Sika deer and it is a class 4 animal. That's kind of what I was expecting. Definitely glad to see that it is class 4. So now we just got to go ahead and find this thing. Oh my gosh, there we go. There's our first look at a Sika deer. It's about 130 meters out. It's currently nervous and it's feeding. So let's get a look at its feed zone time. They feed from 5.30 to 9. So I'm guessing they probably drink from 9 to like 12.30 or 13.30. That is so cool. We got our first Sika deer right there. And that is a level 3 one. Hopefully there's some others next to it. Oh, that was so cool. We actually have one right next to us. This one's a level two and it actually looks different. It's got a different fur variation. I am so happy to see they actually added in the different fur variations that they can have. That's so cool. Get that down and we'll try to get the other one wherever it is. All right, well, I guess we'll go for the other one next. But that one was right there, so we just had to get it down. That is so awesome. I'm really happy that they did a pretty accurate job on these guys. That is beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and pick it up. I don't really know where we can claim it to get a good, good view, but... Uh, we can try that, I guess. There we go. The red spotted fur variation of Sika Deer. We're going to taxidermize a few different variations of these guys so that you guys can get a first look at them. That is really cool. So they're scored by main beam length, inner spread, lower beam circumference, upper beam circumference, length of brow tines, length of second tines, length of third tines, length of first crown tines, and length of second crown tines. So it looks very similar to like red deer. Uh, obviously this has zero because it doesn't have third tines or uh, crown tines. That's really cool though. So we need 198 for diamond. This isn't even halfway up to that. That is awesome. I'm already just overjoyed with the way the Sika deer are. That is so awesome and they're pretty much everything I expected them to be. And right here we actually have a red deer zone too. Let's get the time for this. Maybe they've changed things. And that's a Sika deer zone. Go ahead and pick up the red deer one. So 5 to 7.30. Wow. I think they actually changed the red deer feeding and drinking time and resting time on this map too. That's crazy. So now we're going to have to figure out what drink time is for red deer on the brand new map. Okay, so that is a seek a deer warning call. It's time to go get our second one of the day. And I'm also very, very impressed with the 303 British. This gun is absolutely amazing. It's everything I ever wanted it to be and even a little bit more. It performed phenomenally on that Sika deer but the real test is going to be using it on a red deer I'm very curious to see how good it does on red deer if it drops them just as fast or faster than the 30-06 I'm going to be using the 303 for pretty much everything from now on there we go there it is just got the outline I just got the outline of it I'm not sure if it was running away or what but we briefly got an outline. Alright, so it says this one is a brown fur type. So, if we can find this guy, it'll be a different fur variation, which is definitely what we're wanting to try and get. Oh, it's right there. It is right there. We need to go down. Alright, we're hidden right here. Right there. Let's try to... There we go, we got it down. Seek a deer number two. And this one should be a different fur variation based off of that disturbed veg. And yeah, this guy is the brown variation. That is so, so cool that they actually did put in both variations of fur. Go ahead and grab this guy. And that looks amazing. 
That is so cool. This honestly looks kind of like one of the small red deer, but honestly, I'm not mad about that. They kind of do have very similar antlers in real life too, so that is perfectly fine. But that looks really, really good. This one's a little bit lower scoring than the last one, 81.90. Once again, just a level two, but another fur variation for us to get a look at. Very, very happy. And they give decent money too, a thousand cash for a pretty small one. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so we just got our first mating call from a Sika deer. And this one is a female, so... This will be the first time we get to see the female Sika deer. Very, very excited to get a look at this. I think I just saw it. Just saw something. And yeah, that's the female Sika deer. Question is, is there any more males in the area? Well, I think either way we're going to take the female. Because we have not killed one of these yet. Do a quick scan in case something else is here. And there actually is one more female. And we got that down too. So now we'll get a look at the female Sika deer. Definitely interested to see if they have some different fur variations from the males. Here is one of them right here. This is just a regular spotted. I think the other one we had before was like red spotted or brown spotted or something like that. But there is one of the females with the spotted fur type. Nice. I'm liking them. Honestly, this is going to be one of my new favorite species. I can already tell just based off of a few that I've killed so far. They're definitely going to be my favorite species, especially on the reserve. On this reserve, they're easily going to be my favorite. All right, here we are at another outpost. This one is right here for those of you that are interested in finding it. I'm trying to show off the outposts as much as I can, just so you guys kind of know where to look for them. There we have our first level four Sika deer. And this is a drink zone, so it looks like they drink at... If I can... There we go, nine to 12. Okay, so that's actually pretty good then. I'm curious what the red deer drink at. I'm guessing maybe the same since their feed time was a little different. And there is a level three one also. Uh, wow, actually, yeah, it's looking like the red deer might actually drink at the same time. Oh, we actually have a Sika deer right next to us also that I didn't see. This one is just a small one, it looks like. And it's coming out with the red deer. So we're not going to kill that Sika deer, but we will take out that level four. And, of course, the level 3-2, if we're able to. They're pretty far away, about 260 meters, but that should be no issue at all. And there we go. Got the other one down, too. Hopefully we can maybe get the other one that was uh, on this side of the lake. If it shows itself, we will. All right, now, since I don't see that Sika deer popping out anymore, it actually sounds like it's back here somewhere, we're actually going to try and take out one of these red deer just to see what the 303 British can do on them. So we're probably going to wait till one of them goes completely broadside and then take a shot. So that one's looking really good. That is dying pretty quickly. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, 303 British is probably going to be my new main weapon. There's actually another Sika deer right there. Let's make sure... Ooh, that hunting pressure is not looking too good, so I don't think we'll actually kill it, but... We do get another good look at a different looking Sika deer. I'd say that might be a different fur variation. I think we did shoot one of those, though. Actually, yeah, that actually looks different. That actually looks way different, so... You know, I think we can actually shoot one more, so let's go ahead and do that. My gosh, this gun is just insane. Huge fan of it. Okay, so I just picked up the Disturbed Veg from that Sika deer, and it's a black variation, so... That's kind of cool. We've got a very high... Very high count of uh, different fur variations, it seems. I've seen at least four for them so far. That is really cool. All right, so here is this little level two. I believe this is the black fur. Yeah, there we go. That is looking really good. We'll go ahead and tax that. Here is, I believe the level three was this one. And that is the brown fur variation, and it is the level three. 
119 on its score. So not even a gold, and it looks really, really good. I'm super impressed with these. And we haven't even seen that four yet. But we are about to go check that out. It does look like we just got a call from what sounds like it's a Seek deer, and yeah, that's another three. Go ahead and get that guy down too, I guess. Might as well. Alright guys, so here we go. The first level four Seek deer, and that looks insane. I am so happy with the way that looks. Such a cool looking rack. I'm telling you guys, these are going to be my new favorite species. I can already tell. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. Uh, we'll go ahead and use its body, I believe, is probably going to be the clearest. And 151. That's a nice Sika deer. And this is a dark spotted fur variation. That is so cool. I'm loving the variety in these guys. There's a ridiculous amount of variety. The antlers look absolutely amazing. I just, I really don't even know what to say about them besides that. They're just so good all around. And easily my favorite species so far. That is awesome. And honestly, that cash isn't too bad either. 1136 for that level 4. Seekadir are pretty good all around. And once again, we got another one coming to this lake. This is a hot spot for Seekadir. So once again, for anybody that's curious, this lake right here and this lake right here seem to be insane for Sika deer. That is really, really cool that we found a pretty good spot for them already. I can tell you guys this is my primary spot that I'm going to be hunting during this beta. Alright, here is this little Sika deer right here. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll kind of use... I don't know what's the best spot to claim these guys. When I looked in the air, it didn't look super clear, but we could try it again. Oh, there we go. Another dark spotted. This one is a gold level three. Not too bad. That's a good looking one. Not quite as big as the last one, but bigger than the other level three that we got. Toss that in there also. And now to check on this red deer and see what the damage is like. And we got double lung. Not too bad. That's not bad at all. Honestly, I'm impressed with the 303 British. I'd say it's definitely... Definitely the strongest bolt action rifle we have for classes 4 to 8. It's stronger than the 30 out 6. I think the only thing that beats it in power is probably the 7mm, but obviously the 7mm is kind of top tier for classes 4 to 8, and it can even take 4 to 9. But as far as just a deer rifle, I'd say this is probably the new best. And here is this last little Sika deer that we took out. This one is another black fur variation. It's a level 2 scoring 90. So we'll go ahead and taxidermize that also. That is awesome. I'm in love with these things. So now that we've killed quite a few of them and we've gotten to hear the 303 British quite a bit also, let's go ahead and jump in the lodge and take a look at all these guys up close. All right, everybody. So I have placed down a bunch of these Sika deer that we took out. And I'm really happy to say that they fit on these plaques right here. They fit on the smaller ones. So that's really nice. There's going to be so many places that we can put these guys in our lodges, but this is the Dark Spotted Male Level 3 that we took out. Very good looking Sika deer, and I'm really impressed with these guys again. I, I gotta say it, even though I've said it a million times, I just can't get over it. And this right here, the Red Spotted, might be one of the cooler looking variations. I think the Red Spotted and then the Dark Spotted look really, really good. This right here is that big Level 4 that we took out. Such a cool looking Sika deer. And I'm so, so excited to try and find a diamond one. I think they're going to look absolutely phenomenal. This right here, I believe, is the black fur type. This one right here was a level 2, but these also look really, really good. But I still think the spotted ones are my favorites, the two different spotted variations. This one right here is the brown, which is another decent looking one, but I just don't think it matches in, uh, I guess beauty compared to these two. I think these two look the best. Uh, this one is probably a close third though and then I'd say that one's probably my least favorite as of now but man I just cannot get over how amazing these look. Absolutely phenomenal.
All right, everybody, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post seven videos a week, along with five live streams, and there's going to be a ton of content on this new map, so you guys will not want to miss out on any of that. Also, consider liking the video if you haven't already. It's a huge help in getting my videos pushed out to other potential viewers, and that is a massive help in getting us to our goal of 7,500 subs before the end of the year. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.